Good morning, folks. We're opening with a plasma filament shift on the northeastern limb of our star. We've got exoplanetary systems, red giant stars, geomagnetism, and cosmic rays. Today, we are starting with spaceweathernews.com and finding the last 24 hours on the sun were relatively quiet apart from that filament shift we saw in the opening. But of course, the sun has its solar wind, and that is less quiet at Earth. Coronal hole stream intensification is underway, and while it is a minor to moderate stream, we do see geomagnetic instability on the rise, bottom right KP index yellow bars. Quickly coming to the blood echo wind map, the sublithospheric signals are above average in Central America and the equatorial West Pacific. Superlithospheric signals in the atmosphere must be monitored today. Let's go to exoplanet systems, and Princeton thinks they know which systems to look for, which ones will survive. They say that the model predicted failures are examples of setups we indeed don't see today, while their success setups seem to be present across the visible sky. Moving on to the red giant stars, we know red dwarfs can flare, but how about the big ones? Well, indeed, about 8% of red giants do have star spots and flares. Only 15% of them are in binary setups, and they can tell us that the faster they spin, the more spots and flares they do produce. Now let's come back to Earth for our top stories. First, we are seeing modern geodynamo presumptions question based on the inclusion of powerful Lorentz forces. The rejection of an old paradigm leads us back across this new idea of an Earth interior, where core and mantle structure breaks the homogeneous picture most of us grew up with of a sea of liquid rock and metal. There is structure indeed, and they are going after a piece of it below China. Folks, this is something they do in geology here, and it drives me nuts. When they say low electrical resistivity, that means high electrical conductivity. So one of the high conductivity, large-scale internal structures of this planet leads down directly below China, connected to its submerged crustal region. This form is newly discovered and is not in that animation we showed before this story. Folks, we have been in the modern cosmic ray maximum for about two years now. We do expect to re-peak every sunspot minimum upcoming for a while, and despite the fact that the KP index has not dropped to ultra-low levels, we have seen a number of stations with spikes the last few days, indicating that the cosmic rays were finding means of penetrating anyway. Mexico City showed the diurnal variation better than the rest on the right side of this chart there. I do expect more app alerts like last night's cosmic ray advisory until the solar flares really begin to come back and start producing CMEs. And folks, last but not least, sometimes the universe just messes with you, and yesterday, I was the messy. Website members, this is from yesterday's Deeper Look episode. We ended up grouping and challenging some timelines of the latest impact craters of the planet to match the catastrophe cycle and see which events had the impactors. And of course, about an hour after I posted that, we got word that a new one needs to make the list. Folks, this is in Miami the Miami Impact Crater. Pretty obvious concentric circles there, and the brand new isotope analysis puts its maximum age around 100,000 years, meaning it should have made that list in yesterday's website special to be sure. Nice timing, guys, and by the way, when the maximum age is around 100,000 years, you know it might actually apply to any of those events beforehand. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about Cosmic Rays and pretty much everything else you hear on these shows with our summary videos at suspiciousobservers.org and dig deeper with website membership, about 150 extra programs each year, and it's how we keep this train moving. We've got your wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.